Hey guys, I will show you how to fix this problem on Windows system. In the first step, we need to go to search bar and type here services. And then from the search results, click here to open it. On this window, we need to find out Wi-Fi direct service. So just press W key from your keyboard and you will get the Wi-Fi direct services. So right click on it, select properties. Make sure you have to set startup type as automatic, then click on apply and click on start. Now click on ok. Now on the same window we need to find out the radio management service. Just scroll down and you will get the radio management service. Again right click on it, select properties, set startup type as automatic, click on apply, start the service and click on ok. Now. The last service services is network connection. Find out on the same window. Right click on it, select properties, set startup type as automatic, click on apply, click on start, and then OK. Now close the window, go to search bar, type your CMD, right click on it and select run as administrator, select as now we we are going to execute some commands so type all these commands carefully and hit enter to execute them type in netsh winsoap reset and hit enter then type in netsh winsoap space reset space catalog and hit enter then type in netsh int ip reset reset log dot txt and hit enter then type in ip config space slash release hit enter then type in ipconfig slash renew and hit enter then type in ipconfig ok we need to wait for some time to complete the process and then type in ipconfig space slash flush dns this one is the last command and once done type exit and now we need to restart your system and your problem will be solved for sure and 100%. You can also check out our description link to fix this issue quickly and effectively. And yeah, don't forget to like the video. Please do subscribe the channel.